we just rotated to the brand new summer grass plot look how pretty that is look at the grass growing that's i have a little ditch like a little ditch coming off a culvert right there in the middle and it's just thick look man look how thick this grass is i don't know if you can tell but it's just i mean it's thick everywhere but this is their first time in true spring and summer grass they've been on rye and the rest of the rye and some of them you know some of the summer grass growing back but look how pretty how pretty it is in this paddock we went on and brought the bull over he wasn't supposed to but he got out of the other paddock on accident he was with uh he also the milk cow uh, but we went on and just let him come on over here so he walked all the way to alley he's a big friend of alley so he walked over here to alley and uh so we just said you know what we're gonna move them all so we moved all of them now we've never had <clears throat> we've never had uh daddy o and sizzle in the same paddock uh sizzle is becoming more bullish and he's 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 trying to kind of boss these other two little heifers around so I'm anxious to see how Daddy O and Sizzle's gonna do in here. Uh, him and Allie will get into a little headbutt range every once in a while. So I'm anxious to see if there's gonna be any problem between them. Jersey Bulls are known to be a little bit more aggressive. So we'll see if he's gonna be aggressive with, uh, with Sizzle being in here. But just wanna show you, look at just how thick this grass is. I mean, look, look at them. They're like just walking barely in it. But this whole paddock is just thick, 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 lush grass. I mean, look at that. Just everywhere. Good grass and it's really, uh, probably a little mix it's got some hay it's got some weeds still growing up in don't get me wrong but look there's like a wild clover patch right out there and there's some little snow peas that i guess just volunteer snow peas growing up i uh, got some bahia going over here uh this right here in front of me is almost like a like a bermuda patch right there so it's kind of growing up so it's, it's doing really good so we're we're proud of it just wanted to kind of show you a little snippet of it but just look how look how good uh this grass looks this is the one right next to the garden now let's talk about back here all that grass looks good just as good as this grass we fertilized it not too long ago uh, so he's getting ready to uh to um to be able to put them on there so i'm gonna leave them in here again for about a week once we leave them in here we'll put up temporary fencing behind us and go ahead and put them over there now i will not leave them in temporary fencing at night there's just no reason it kind of scares me next to all these woods here i'm scared of coyote or fox or anything like that would just scare sizzle enough and not uh not be able to keep him in inside that pen so uh every day we or every afternoon i'll probably move them back into this permanent fencing just for the night let them bed down and then in the mornings when i milk i'll just come back out here and go ahead and put them back in the temporary fencing but just want to kind of give you a little update not not a big video of course but just a, a nice little update of the the paddock and how, impor how important rotational grazing is um like i said before uh, it's all about making sure you're a bigger grass farmer than you are a cattle farmer but they all seem to be doing really good all right just a quick little video we're actually heading to uh we had a friend call us and said they have a swarm of bees right outside their door so we're going to try to go bait a um bait a box and see if we can catch this swarm now um they were on a tree all together just uh, uh about an hour or two ago but she did say that they're they look like they're kind of up in the air swarming again so what we're going to try to do is uh bait a box with lemongrass and we have honey supers uh, in that box too so it makes that, that that smell so hopefully the scout bees will come and, and uh, uh come to that box and maybe get the queen in there so we'll see how it goes from there we just want to let you know what we're doing and take you along for the journey all right um you can see they're swarming a little bit there's a, there's a pile of them right there but it's so high i can't get to it so what i'm gonna do is uh bait this now these bees these are some huge bees you can tell they're probably wild. They're probably not a packaged bee by any means. Because look how big they are. Well, that's some big body bees there. That, that's some big bees. I don't think I've ever seen them that big. So we're going to just try to get them out of here. They're already attracted. We put some lemongrass. Do you have some more of that lemongrass? It's on the car. Okay. Um, we've already put some lemongrass in here. Look at how, how many are already attracted to this. I've got some honey in here. Uh, and some wax that's got some honey kind of just residue on it. So... You see how much they're already kind of going to it, which is what we want. So what I'm going to do is just uh, close them up in here. Uh, I don't know what kind of bees these are, but I know one thing. They are they're a little crazy. That one's already trying to sting me. And see Should we leave the top bee. off and let and just uh -uh, let several of them go in there? No, and they'll, just... they'll find it. They'll find their way. 
They're already going up to the base it. Or they're going down there and there. You've already got several going in. So so we're gonna see. They're already showing attraction to it. They've not made a home yet because they can't they're still trying to find where they're supposed to go. I don't know if the queen's up there. I might imagine the queen is up there, but it's just a small little bit and it's kinda the uh, homeowner said there was a lot more here that some of them are gone. So I'm hoping that too, that some of them will come back. But see, and they're not really all congealed to one limb where you could take that limb off or cut that limb or shake that limb. They've kind of got it going into the tree. So I'm just scared to try to shake them and me miss her and get caught up in this holly and all of a sudden they make a man, they all leave. So I think I'm gonna try this approach first. I wish I could have got this box higher. You, you always want to get a swarm I mean, excuse me, a swarm catcher or a, a, a honey super or whatever you're trying to catch them in, a nuke or whatever, as high as they are. A swarm traps usually need to be about 10, you know, 8 to 15 foot up, basically, 10 foot. Um, and that's exactly where she's at, or where the bees are. However, I don't have a way, since this is not my home, we're just trying to make way. I thought I could do it with this ladder, but it's still not high enough to get it up there. So we're going to try it here. Look again, look at on this box, how much they're already on it. Just turn it. very very active already in the box which is a good thing so we're going to see what they do we're going to tell the homeowner that we'll leave it here for the night and really tomorrow i might come check it tomorrow afternoon just to see if they're going in and making home um we've got some lemongrass in there and of course some honey which is the two kind of things that you want with uh, attracting a swarm so we'll see what it goes from here and uh, we just want to give you an update and as soon as we know what happens tomorrow we'll we'll uh we'll show it to you but uh So we got two twigs there on those two holly bushes right there. I'm sorry we couldn't show you doing it because it was one holding the ladder and one actually climbing. But we got those two twigs and actually shook them in here. And there's still one more twig I'm waiting to try to go get. Um, but there's a lot climbing on this box. This is a good thing. Uh, little bees, big bees. Um, they seem real calm. Actually, if you look though, this is what I like. Is when I brought those two twigs down, look at where most of the bees are flying. See, they were flying all up there. And they were heavier up there. And they're still flying there, don't get me wrong. So look how many bees are kind of hanging out here which is a good sign so uh usually they do like a march in so let's see if they do a march in we're gonna kind of watch them just for a little bit i'm gonna try to get this other uh limb and uh we'll see if we can get them i've just never seen these kind of bees these are a little bit different than mine so i'm anxious to see see if i can get a little bit more if i really know what kind of bees people think they are and, and hey if you know let us know in the comments because these are definitely not the kind of bees that i have so They are really active down there. See, they've already started to look like a little wagon building right here. So we just get this branch is shaking in here. All this white stuff is not anywhere else up there. It's just right where the bees are. Now they were all over this. See how this is kind of white residue all right there? So I think that's wax and they're building a little hive on there. Because really, um, there's no other spot. Now they were caked on this one. So, I mean, you see they're already flying because I had to break it. Of course, the queen's not on here. but. It looks like they're wax building, so I'm gonna kind of just lay that right here. Maybe that'll help know that this is a new home. So, so really, there's no other bees. There's one more little spot I'm like trying to see. Like they move every time I get a branch. There they got 
wax on one and there was a lot of bees on that one. So we're going to just kind of let it stay here for the night. Uh, we'll check with the homeowner tomorrow and we'll probably come check it. But you see how they're, they're hanging out? See these little bees here and there's a drone right there. They're doing pretty good. They really are. So they're really hanging around here now. Now I've not seen the queen person. So I, you know, to tell you we've got her, we don't know that. Uh, we've got a good bit of bees in here. But hopefully, hopefully with the lemongrass though, and also this older honey, it might make a difference to where we can um, keep them here. So. Alright, well we're going we're gonna to shut this one down. we got some more beehives to check. We're going to put honey supers on some, and we're going to take you all along for that garden too. But I uh, just wanted y'all to see us try to catch this one. Uh, it seems like they're always in inopportune places, man. I need to catch this one, but that's good to have happen. But.